little shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. They are Sam Medina, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Yumi, Madlo, I Am Beast, mbs 84 zeta Justin Rice, Killer Bunny 264, Ozzy Posse, Conan 76, Nokin, Jelly Beams, Steve Jacques, Iron Man, Fierce Ramsey, Nathan V, Zareel, Audiogasms, Amy, and Hackaber. To join them, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Where's You Came Out. So we're going to be facing our first day 7 horde for Alpha 21 Where's UK. And I'm kind of scared. I remember uh, back in Alpha 20, I did a series and the Titans showed up late game. We did a second series and then the, there was an update and day 7 we had a Titan. And the weight of the Titan was so much that the base caved in. So I'm hoping the reinforcements we did to the base helped. But yeah, we're standing on 6 pillars. Technically each pillar is 4 blocks. So we're standing on 24 blocks. So hopefully that doesn't get destroyed. But we'll see that now. So we're on worry difficulty. We are on sprint speed. Apparently, this has been bugged forever. I always go nightmare speed, but we'll see. If it's too easy, we'll try nightmare, but apparently there's something off the pathing in A21. Well, apparently it's been like that for A20 as well. I'm also thinking of upping the max amount of enemies, uh, because now that we know this is actually part of the mod, we could go to like 120, 128 or something and see how that goes, but we're already getting overrun every now and then. Playing 64 Blood Moon Spawn and our own explosives can kill us as well. I want to show you guys what the base looks like, what I did, um, I placed in all of the hatches and stuff as well, I grabbed all my ammo, we don't really have that much ammo, that's what I'm really really worried about right now, at least we, we managed to find an NPC, so now that we have that nurse NPC, she'll be able to provide cover fire and we'll be able to take down any enemies. Unfortunately I think if she kills someone we don't get the XP for it, but hey at least she's there. <laughs> oh, um. It's so cold over here in South Africa at the moment. Uh, the temperatures plummeted to like 5 degrees Celsius. And it's raining like crazy. I love this kind of weather. But sitting here with like shorts on and stuff. <laughs> I'm probably being a little bit dumb. So we're going to go weather. Fog zero. So we can actually see the horde. Our NPC is going to be standing over here doing that. I actually wanted to block off a bit more. Because when I open this up, I don't want to shooting. So I had to put stairs in over here. So we can cover the stairs over here. As they climb, we'll throw a Molotov, we'll close this down, and we'll focus on the vultures above us. I'm just hoping, we didn't put a second uh, lay over there because we only have 83 blocks left. We have a pistol. We have two, uh, we actually have two pistols, but we don't have enough repair kits. And since this one doesn't have another repair kit because it's so expensive, it's 10 HD oil now. I decided to keep the pipe pistol or the pipe machine gun on us as well. So as you guys can see, the, there's reinforcement over there, so the Titans shouldn't be too heavy. And there's also reinforcement right there as well. And then all of these pillars, every single one of them are four blocks thick. So if a titan goes for the third block, it has to destroy all three. It goes to the second block, all three. The spider is climbing up this now, I think. The only thing that we really need right now that we don't have is the... Sledge turret. If only we had the sledge turret, we would be awesome right now. All of a sudden, it's starting to rain way harder over here. I'm hoping that the NPC will also help us with the uh, enemies in front. We have skill points to spend over here. Let's just really see if we can spend them. Boomstick. Yes, that's our shotgun, our main gun. Pack mules maxed out. Minus 69. We should probably do that to mine a bit more. Let's go for stamina, running gun and stuff. No, no, no. Where's cardio? Under HP. I need to be able to run more. And then Iron Guts, so our drinks last longer. And then next up, healing factor. So it seems that are pathing properly, which is awesome. That's what you always want to see. And I have water and stuff on me as well, just in case. Was that a radiator dude just now? Oh, we're already getting radiator traders. Nice. See, they used to, in Alpha 20, they used to fall off way easier. Oh, I need to be careful of enemies with weapons. But yeah, in 820, they used to fall off there really easily. If I can find that there's a block that looks exactly like that, but you, it's on the top side of the block. So it pushes them off as they go running. If I can find that block. Ooh. Okay, I need to be careful that I don't do any damage to the bottom of the floor over here. Because when the enemies fall, they, they could aggro, but hopefully they don't because I'm high enough up. I would just have to be careful of any enemies with weapons, with guns. If we feel ourselves getting shot, we know that there's enemies around us. Technically, I can shoot from over here, just not throw a Molotov from over there. Why are there so few enemies? Should I set up the amount of alive enemies at the time? I 
think after this, I might have to go and just set up the Max Alive to like 128. Because the Max Alive and the Horde Knight number is exactly the same. Although that just... Oh, we are getting enemies with weapons. If it's the same like that, uh, it means that we're going to get a never-ending stream of zombies until morning. So that's what you want. Okay, we're out of armor piercing. Let's go for normal. I could just stand here and wait for them to get to us, but they're so slow for some reason. I think if they were nightmare speed, there's more chance of them actually falling down. Nice. Oh yeah, I uh, almost forgot. XP elixir. Although, it feels like it's going to be a waste drinking the XP elixir now. There's just too few zombies over here. If there were more enemies right now, it would be worth actually drinking it. I want to make sure we get as many of the kills ourselves so we can get the XP. Uh, since we told our NPC... Oh, there's already a Titan. Told me, uh, since we told our NPC to wait, we have to be really careful right now. Oh, crap. The fact there's already Titans. I want to see what they're going to do over here. Oh, oh yes. Nice, it, it does seem to be working. Oh, please don't tell me. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's messed up. She has reach. She was able to reach through the door just now and smack me. I mean, she has long arms, but she's supposed to be stuck over there. I was wondering what the hell just hit me. Look at my HP. He hit me once and almost killed me through the door. I need to be careful of that. At least now we know that we will be getting more titans and stuff, so this is awesome. The reason I'm crouching over here is to make sure we don't accidentally hit ourselves with the Molotov. And then pistol. I'm not just gonna load with this one. Don't mind wasting pistol ammo. Nice. I think I was the one to kill her and did she drop something for me? Damn it, fell down. Okay, yeah. Um <laughs> The fact that we're regretting two titans, at least it seems like the thing can hold the weight, which is awesome. But I think it's because I reinforced the walkway. The whole walkway is reinforced, and now the enemies can't get to us, uh, can't break it too easily. We'll probably keep um, slugs for enemies like this. Okay, we have to be careful. If it says like pistol businessman or something, we know it's a plus enemy, so they'll do more damage. This might be a waste drinking this now because I already killed the uh, titans, but I'm hoping we get more titans. You just look at the names. If the names see, oh, there's Papa Yu. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a funny name. It's not Trader Yu, it's Papa Yu. Hello, hello, hello. I need to be the one to do the last shot so I can get the XP. I'd be careful of the drone bombers as well. If I'm not careful, they can actually break my base. But yeah, I think for the next horde, we definitely have to set the max alive up. 64 is a bit low. Basically, it's the same uh, amount as our wandering, oh, as our horde knight. Uh, which, like I said, is actually a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because the horde knight will last the whole night. It's a bad thing because we get this few the whole night through. Oh, wow, I can actually... Oh, wow, no, I'm stuck. <laughs> I have to be careful. I just realized I can fit through over there. Good and bad. Yeah, there's so few enemies coming for us right now, but I think it's to do with, with the max alive. As long as I can just burn to death over there, we'll get the XP at least. Oopsie. Oh, no, please don't tell me she just infected me. Sometimes it shows a little bit late. Okay, he's dead. He could have easily given me the virus. Ooh, hello, battle chicken. I wonder if the battle chicken's gonna climb the stairs or the ladder. I think it's the stairs, right? It is a chicken after all. Yep, that's why you put the stairs at the back. Look at that. It's doing what I wanted it to do. Okay, close that. I wanna save my AK. That's why I'm not really using it right now. Not my AK, yeah, my M60, the 7.62 rounds. I want to save that for in case we get a, like a ton of enemy bosses and stuff. But I feel like default settings right now for Horde Knights when it comes to the amount of spawn is just too low. I can easily up this and get a little bit more fun. Battle chicken, bye bye.
Okay, I fell all the way down. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't just quickly really restart it and do a little bit more. There's still enemies, but there's so few. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm quickly going to exit. Now, now our actual gameplay is going to be so much harder after all night. We're going to continue. We're going to go to general. No, uh, basic. And we're going to put this up to 128. Now, really, there should be way more enemies. Blood wound. Let's go for nightmare. Why not? It is kind of buggy, apparently, because the enemies just stand still. But that's just dumb pathing from the zombies. I have noticed that nightmare speed is way tougher to deal with than um, sprint. Even though technically sprint is, like I said, not as buggy as nightmare. It's just not as threatening, especially in a mod like this. You want to be like, oh, crap. Come on, initializing world. Okay. Well, now it should restart, and now it should get way, way more enemies. We might even get vultures and stuff. I mean, we just killed a ton for Old Knight anyway, so our game stage is a bit higher. Oh, it's a good thing we waited for that drink. We're still like four and a half minutes left of XP Elixir. It's a really good thing I went for the drinking uh, for the Iron Gut. Now, basically, our effects are going to last way longer. I need to make sure we level up as much as possible, so the more we can kill right now, the better. This gun is about to break. At least we do have a second one, but I'm going to have to take the ammo out of this one to make up for it. I want to see how far the fire spreads upwards as well. Okay, technique, I can stand over here for now until something comes for us that's dangerous. Since there's no vultures, what we could do, which is just super, super dangerous. Come on. What we could do is just stand over here. But that happens. So we have to be careful of vultures and spiders. But uh, now, uh, while we're standing here, we can have some fun. The only problem is if I get pushed off over here, we sprain our legs. And we don't have another way into this base. Also, since it's hard now, we might get zombies with guns. So technically, the clever thing to do right now is just to go inside. Yeah, just play it safe. We don't want to get shot on the outside just because there's a zombie with a gun. Okay, still kind of small. I wonder if it's not, uh, if it's just the Horde Knight thing that's so small. Or if it's going to pick up speed. It might be because I did it after midnight that it's not really picking up too much speed right now. Although at least we are testing the base. The pathing seems to be working fine. And we got two Titans, which isn't bad. Not bad at all. I'm just, I'm curious to see what kind of loot we've had so far. In a half minutes. Damn, I really thought we were going to get overrun with enemies. Because I really need the XP. The more enemies we can hit with the Molotov, the more it's going to be for us. What are you shooting? I thought it might be shooting like a vulture or something above us. Look at all the fire particles all over. Okay, you just died. Wait, did... It sounded like he just made that sound. Oh, shared player XP. We get XP for our NPCs. I just saw it over here. Shared player XP. That's awesome. So our NPCs can kill. We don't have to worry too much. That's definitely going to come in handy. Come on, I need more enemies. This is way too weak sauce. Just to get rid of that moaning sound. Oh, there's another one coming. I'm so tempted to just go stand over here. But with all of the vultures and stuff that might be able to come, and the NPCs with guns, it just takes one uh, zombie to stun us with a, with a weapon. And then we're screwed. But it's so fun. It's thrilling to stand over here because it's a little, a little bit more of a challenge at least. We don't want it being too easy. Only a few shots left. Running out of stamina. We have four points to spend, which is good. Probably start using the pistol a bit more as well. We just want to knock them off their feet, uh, off balance. But yeah, even with max spawn, max uh, ward knight and max zombie spawn. I don't know if 128 is like a max spawn or if it's too low, too high. 128 might be too high, so it's not registering properly. You never know. 
I need to kill that, uh, oh, that's, I almost said vulture. That snake over there. That's really going to mess us up if we're not careful. And she just took the hit, so we didn't hit the ones at the back. That's messed up, man. I tried hitting all of them in one swoop, but now she took the brunt of the damages now. So not as many was burning right now as I intended for them to burn. One step back, sideways, not to fall down. I'm gonna be careful of vultures. <laughs> oh, there's another titan coming. Yes! Rush! It's not gonna work. Every now and then I do it a little bit too late. Ooh, you just saved me, lady. That nurse literally just saved me. Okay, so I need to be careful. I need to wait to be able to throw... Oh, wow, he's powerful. He just hit that block. Yeah, he was able to destroy that block just now. That staircase. Oops. Don't hit the blocks, damn it. He keeps hitting the wall for some reason. Yeah, and because the titans do so much damage, they do so much damage to the wolf way. Wait, where's the soldier? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. As he comes up, I, don't want, I wonder if it's because he sees me. As he climbs the ladder, he swings, and every time he swings, he does so much damage. Okay, titan down, and I didn't have my XP Alexa present. Oh, come on. Oh, he's still alive. Um... I just realized I was complaining that I didn't have my XP elixir present, but when he died, wasn't dead, and then I killed him before drinking the elixir when I found out he was still alive. That's so dumb. If I can see there's a ton of enemies somewhere, they're stuck on something, I think. If I can see there's a ton of enemies standing somewhere, I can just go and throw a Molotov there, or drink the XP elixir. But I think we only had the three titans and that's it, which is still good. We just have to go do quests in the morning, and I can't afford to waste all my shotgun ammo right now. Because that's the only way we've been protecting ourselves the whole time. Okay, that broke, so now we do this, do this, reload. See, so just throw them off their feet long enough to let them fall. Even though it doesn't matter how tough they are, as long as they lose their footing. Crap. Uh, I was taking too much of a chance. Stop playing, John. Stop playing. We can't afford to die right now. Imagine surviving three titans and then dying from a really dumb thing that you do. Yes, yeah, Sledge. It seems there's no pistol wielding or gun wielding uh, zombies at the moment, which is good for us. There's definitely melee wielding enemies. Look how much HP they have. What I could try and do... Oh, it's gonna fall down. I thought I might be able to blow it up. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, that left that behind. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I don't have my tools on me. It left this block behind, so we can't even replace it. All I have to do for now is do this, because that is in the way. I can do this. Yeah, that's really messed up. It leaves the frame behind so you can't replace the hatch. I wonder if it's possible to repair the hatch since it left a little bit of a dent over here. That just messed up, man. That's messed up. Like that. Tutor where the sun don't shine. Technically, I could just put a ramp down or a... Uh, uh, what's it called? A bar down in the shape of wood. But they're gonna sh they're gonna destroy that anyway, so <laughs> there's no point at the moment. 
Okay, yeah, so far, like I said, the, the horde has been super, super easy. What was that? We got something that just threw a fireball across the screen. But yeah, uh, we have to be careful now. It's almost night, uh, morning, so we don't want to die right now. Please don't, please don't. Doesn't seem like there's any vultures or anything. Yeah, guys, this was a super easy horde night, but at the same time, it's, just, it's a nice way to prime to see, okay, will my base lost? Won't it lost? What's going to happen? What's wrong with it? And I'm really happy with this design. There's literally only him left, and then it's morning. But I can actually tell my NPC to follow me. Uh, Command menu, follow me. Why did I close that? I need to eat and drink as well. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. If she kills him, we get shared XP anyways. We have to make these stairs or these ladders stronger. Unfortunately, that... Oh, did she just jump down? Oh, no. She's looking for enemies. But yeah, um, unfortunately, the titans do so much damage. Look at this. They destroyed that block, destroyed that block. They destroyed that block. At least it is still the staircase at the back. Oh, yeah. I never put this side down. I destroyed the blocks, but I never put it down again. That could have seriously des uh, destroyed my base just now. Up your rotation. They were supposed to be able to climb this side as well, but they did, it seems. It's just that the titans or zombies or whatever did so much damage at the back of here. Oh no, did I finish the staircase at all? I'm seriously now doubting it. Hey, 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 um. Use your patrol code. I just wanted to follow me, but there's, uh, she keeps going after enemies. But I'm gonna be really mad if she ends up dying from a dumb mistake. If look at the War of the Walkers NPCs, they're so dumb, they stand still while the enemies wail on them. Hey, come on, give me something good. Give me something worth the effort just now. Overall, with the amount of ammo and molotovs and stuff we spent, this was not worth it. But at least we didn't have too many enemies. Although the molotovs would have been way more effective if we had more enemies. The more to burn, the more XP we gain. Yeah, she seems to have almost broken out. I want to make sure I loot all the uh, the dropped bags over here. I wonder how many bags fell through the world, if any. Doesn't seem like there's any loot bags up here, and we've just... Okay, so we just looted everything. Overall, this horde fight was... Eh. I mean, we want more fun, we want more action, but at the same time, we can't complain that we survived. That's the big thing right now, we survived. I think I'm going to save this one. I'm going to go and do this. Modify. Put that in there. I'm going to run around with this one because it's easy to repair with pipes. This one is way too expensive to repair because we just don't have enough duct tape right now. So we're going to be running around with that. I should probably go and repair any blocks that are damaged, but it doesn't seem like they went for the pillars, really. I have this axe over here, so we should be able to check. Let's see, let's see. This one took slight, slight, slight damage. It almost looks like from an explosion. Yeah, the, uh, only these blocks. The Titans destroyed these blocks. And there's actually a ladder missing over there. So if it wasn't for the Titans doing like insta-kill block damage, we wouldn't even notice that there was any damage over there. Oh, did she just drop? Yeah, she just dropped something. Can I jump in? Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, you can. You can. You just can't jump sideways like that, but you can go into a one by one. Nice. Okay, I need to find a way. Oh, now I'm stuck in a crouch position. Uncrouch, jump, run. Sometimes if you've noticed in 2821, after crouching, you just can't move. It's not because you're still crouching or anything. It's because it's bugged. Uh, if you were to crouch again and uncrouch, then all of a sudden your problem would be a thing of the past. So if you have realized, oh, I'm moving slow for some reason, just try crouching quickly, uncrouching, and then check again. That should have um, fixed your problem. What if I shouldn't run away, run around with coin? Also, I noticed while getting ready for Fortnite, we had tokens in the food box. If you go back and check, it was like up here somewhere. I don't know why I keep dropping stuff that I really, really need into the wrong boxes. Because then later, when you really, really need it, you don't have it anymore. Okay, uh, tools, weapons. I think I put everything else as miscellaneous for now. We'll keep some pipes for the repair kits for the gun. And we'll put the rest of this away for now. 
We're not going to be using the pistol. That's going to be for Ward Knight. We want to make sure we save as much as possible for Ward Knight, basically. And then healing. I should probably, the first row should be like food, drink, healing. Uh, if you sprain your leg, if you break your leg, I need to have like one of each. And that's a nice thing. As soon as you have drones, you can just make sure that the drone holds all your stuff for you. That's all I really need right now. We're going to do that, that. So we have the primitive bow. I'm not really stealthing that often anymore, so we can put it that far back. And then do this. And then put that away for now. So we can go and sell these. Obviously, if you mod them out, you can actually get more for them. So, for example, these two. Go from three, five, six to seven. Oh, that's a lot more. Uh, unfortunately, that's a hat piece, and this is only one slot. I could repair it and sell it for slightly more, although, I mean, I could just as well take it out now. Scrap it and then put that in a different headpiece. I need space, I need loot, I need to go crazy and just loot, loot, loot. I need to become a loot fiend in this mod. Okay, uh, put that away, and then we have everything we need. So I need to lock all of these slots every time I log in, because I keep forgetting to do that. And then we could actually quickly go do a quest or two, and then see if we can't get some more rewards. And we go and hand in this one fetch that we have on us anyway. So what I need to do is go over here. There's the quest over here, right? No, we managed to do all the quests on the side. Nice. Did we hand in all of them? No, there's three to hand in over there. Let's go hand in these three and then see if we can't do like the quest or something in the vicinity over there. Although technically what I should do is do this quest, see if it's one of these ones. But if I go do that one and it's one of these over here, I have to run there anyways. Mm, let's go see the rewards. It seems that we have to hand this fetch in there anyways, this thingy over here, so it's worth it. So we're going to go there. And guys, don't look on the minimap or the compass. Look on the screen. I keep forgetting that that's a thing these days. And then I look all over on the minimap, but I can't find it. Meanwhile, you just have to look in front of you. Food and drinks doing fine. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now that the max enemy is up to 128, we're going to get more stuff in the wild. So we have to be way more careful when running around like this. Now that we have an NPC to help us fight any enemies, we can actually quickly do this. And it's two shot open. So while we're out and about, the, the nurse will shoot whatever comes close. Oh. Oh. Okay, I see that demo over there. Um, I wonder if I'm going to lose her. Let's just see. This dude needs to die before we can pick her up. Pick me up because I have this dude over here I need to kill. Hello. I don't want to deal with multiple enemies on both fronts. We'll do that. I have to shoot him in the chest so he explodes. So I don't have to worry about losing all my stuff over here. My loot. Mine. See, that's the only thing. Will my NPC be clever enough to run away? Will, the tr will she try and actually take the hit from a demo? Because that's how you die. Uh, Stamina ran out as I was about to jump. There's another enemy somewhere. I hear the footsteps, but I can't see it, so it has to be a crawler. What the hell? Oh, it has to be you. I can't see sometimes. It's like they are camouflaged into the background or something. Okay, so uh, we'll use that. That's a massive waste, but I need to heal myself. Six skill points to spend. Nice, not bad. But yeah, now that we have a proper tool, look at this. Two shots open, and we have the NPC to cover us. The only problem is, every time we come across something that... Ooh. Oh, M60. Every time we come across something really awesome... I got infected. No! Now drop my infection stuff at the base. Oh, okay, my, my leg is sprained and stuff, but if I just drive like this... Okay, well, as, soon, as long as I'm on the vehicle, she's safe. So even if she were to attack, like, an NPC or a, a demo that she's not supposed to, all we have to do is jump up. Okay. Why do you keep looking for trouble? Okay, food and ammo. I need to see if there's any uh, health supplies over here. If we can get lucky with a splint. See, because our leg is busted, um, the health is going down. What the health? Uh, our max health is low because our legs are busted. 
So if I had a sprint, ooh, I think I think I can use a cast, right? It's overkill. Nope, doesn't help with the leg at all. It seems that it has to be a splint. I thought I might be able to get the max HP up a little bit by using the cast instead of a splint. It's weird that it doesn't show me my leg is busted. Because I'm I'm sprinting right now with a busted leg and my HP is standing still. Okay, you be careful. There is a burning dog across the hill over here. And you know the NPC loves running off the enemies. So before we know it, we're gonna get hit. Oh, cigar! Yes, yes, yes. That's gonna help us with our. Oh, we already had one. But I say that's gonna help us with our selling abilities. Please tell me. That's not a zombie with a gun, but rather just a, a bandit. Okay, let's just see what is this. It's running away at the moment. Oh, it's a raider over there. Nope, you don't need to help. You don't need to help. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't want you taking damage just because the raider decided to attack a massive group of enemies. Oh, airdrop. Wait, how did I miss this airdrop? Okay, we'll go for the airdrop first because it might, yeah, there might be something inside of here we can sell. So we'll go for the airdrop first. And bandit. Oh, it looks like she's healing herself. Just Was that just my imagination or was she actually healing herself just now? Oh, nice. Oh, brain herpes, yay! I mean, that's only when you get hit by a nurse. But still, it's better than nothing. At least the MRI's aid uh, disappeared on, uh, on us, but uh, yeah, we have to be careful of like brain viruses and stuff too. Oh, crap. You see, now she's over here attacking us. I, I, I think she's part of the Max Alive. Now we've set the max alive to 128, there's more uh, bandits running around. Now when I kill this guy... Reload, 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 Why is it spinning around like that? That's so creepy. No, 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 my legs busted and radiation. NPC, please help me. Shoot, damn it, shoot. I think we're downstairs. Okay, shotgun it is. Damn. Max enemy being alive right now is really screwing with us. Gratitude. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go for five bombs. We need more explosives. Can you hit market, not bad, okay. What? At least now that we know we can redo oh, quests, it's easy enough. What does this do? Do more damage on impact? High power. No, we don't we don't really use the high power rounds and stuff. Technically should be doing it, but yeah, I don't. Let's make a bitch. Oh, no, KZZ radio station. That is a dangerous, dangerous POI. Meds, drugs, booze. Meds, drugs, booze. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Uh, what do we need to get more vehicles? Like, how many more books do we need to get more vehicles? Probably check because if I can do that, get buy more of those, perhaps. If I can get a, a mini bike right now, that's gonna be amazing. Thank you so much. Hey, come again. Oh, I will. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Do that. Okay, we're ready for bicycle. Here's your pay. Let's go for the. Uh, we don't really need water. High rifle bundle, ammo crafting bundle. Cloth armor, we might be able to get better quality than what we have right now. I'm in a bit of well already. Okay, uh no, first There's jobs. Always sham way up the road. You can try looting. Now you can try looting. No matter what. Okay, it I'm seems we are done with this place, right? Okay, we go to him first. Any special jobs? Open trade I'm routes. A bit of a brilliant. I guess this kind of makes us friends now. I need better gear right now. Better ammo, better guns, better everything. Maybe next time. Happy travels. See, we just have to go open trade routes with the traders. But I think what I'm going to do is... Next episode... I'm going to drop stuff off. Next episode, we have to open trade routes. 
and then go to this trader over here and see if we can find more traders over there. At the moment, we have a base there. We've wasted a thousand blocks plus to make that place. But if we can find a really cool POI and just make the walkway, that saves a lot of resources already. Taking over a POI compared to... Do this. Taking over a POI is way better than uh, making your own because you save so much just making the place itself. That's our goal right now. Just find a proper place to settle down for the series and have fun because you don't want to constantly be moving, moving, moving. As I've noticed in most of my series these days, it's tough. You, you can't make up your mind on like day one to seven and you end up moving base like three, four times and it, it gets boring after a while. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with friends, comments, tips and feedback. What do you guys think about this Horde Knight? I thought it's going to be way bigger. But at least the Horde base um, held. Leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Where's UK fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminars that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.